hello guys and welcome back to automation in today's tutorial I'm going to speak about XPaths so what are XPaths XPath basically means XML path so it means XML path okay, it is basically a way to find nodes so what XPath does is it traverses to the XML and it finds out nodes in uh, automation of selenium our xml will be a html page and our node would be a web element so there are two types the first time is absolute the second one is relative now we will always be using relative one but it is also important to know what is absolute so just for understanding purpose absolute would mean like giving the entire address so if you talk from a layman point of view uh, say if you are living in New York then your absolute address would be say you are living in the continent of North America in that your country of USA you know and go on so forth all the way till your home that would be the absolute x path or your absolute address so to, uh, talking in terms of html it would be like ht so absolute would be say html okay and inside your html you have your body and inside your body you have div and inside div you have an input so when you type this then this would be your button okay so this is your absolute x path okay so what is relative relative would mean you are not taking the X path all the way from the beginning till the end you are directly saying hey guys I live in New York and when you say New York you basically understand that New York comes in USA so a relative one would be something like this double slash okay this means anywhere okay let me write this down here this means anywhere okay so anywhere in our HTML okay I want to say if there is an input so in this entire HTML there is only one input so that's it this is relative X path and this is an absolute X path this is the basic difference between a relative X path and an absolute X path uh, we learn more about relative X paths and how to find it We'll practice on it in our next session. Thank you.